I'm always fascinated with airsoft in-game videos. I mean, there's an average. There is a big red container that silo. Hey, what's up, guys? House gamers. I'm putting this in CQB mode. Brand explorers. Airsoft Alphonse. <laughs> Houston, we have a problem. Dodge the hooligan. Those are amazing Airsoft gameplay producers. And I really want to make my own in-game videos too. I mean, why not, right? Just record a game while having fun. But the truth is, it's not that simple. I ran into a whole bunch of problems. I had problems with the filming angle, not catching everything. Also, I had wiring problems that gets in the way. The worst part was that I have to constantly check in to see if the camera is okay, still recording. And in the end, I'm just not happy with the result. But in today's episode, we have a solution to all that. I want to share something very special, and this is the new way to film Airsoft. What's up guys, this is Andrew Live from Cross My Airsoft and I'm so glad Insta360 is sending me all these. Woo! Despite the fact that I already had two 360 1Rs. So for today's episode, I want to go over a few things. What are the common problems that you will run into when you start filming Airsoft? Where to mount the cameras? Last but not the least, why not other cameras but Insta360? If you want to see all the functions of the camera, you can check out those channels. They got it all covered. And since there's a whole lot of things to cover when it comes to editing and my personal loadout, I will make another episode covering all that. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, now the common problem number one. Getting used to three cameras recording at the same time when you play a game. Because for a fun airsoft game, you will need some different viewing angles. You will need the first person view, third person view, and the trajectory views to make your video as entertaining as possible. People love to see from different angles, and especially that awesome killer shots. I would say Novridge is probably the one who invented this kind of filming method. Problem number two, mounting the camera is challenging because this basically changes the way you use your guns since there's a block of something. It's a lot of stuff, not gonna lie. A lot of stuff going on. You really have to get used to like with all the cameras and all the equipments around you. Once you get used to it, it's not that hard. Problem number three, annoying filming angles. I think this is the part where I struggled the most. I just had no luck with my GoPro. Every angle it captured, it's just, I'm missing something. Either the screen is not wide enough or say it is just the way it is. There's nothing you can do about it. And the worst part is it overheats a lot. Taiwan is a hot place, eh? I can't go to a game with a camera shutting down five times in a row telling me it's overheating. All right, enough about the problems. Now let's talk business, shall we? I mean, why? Why Insta360? What makes me like it so much? Here are my three reasons why I like those little beasts so much. Number one, the size. There are some 360 cameras out there. I mean, there's GoPro, there's Insta360, comes with plenty of models. However, I think the One R and One RS are the most compact platform, and it takes a lot of GoPro accessories. This way, I will have so many different choices when it comes to mounting my stuff all over this little camera. 
and they can be taken apart as modules. And the package I got includes a 4K lens. So this means if I'm not happy with my 360 lens, I can always easily swap out to the 4K camera. Number two, how stable it is. Remember the problem of overheating? It does happen to Insta360. However, it only happens when you jam it into the H.265 settings. For me, I'm running mine with the 5.7K resolution and with the format of H.264 instead of H.265. The file size would be bigger. However, I never ran into overheating issues with my Insta360 ONE R and ONE RS. With those stable platform, I can really just press the record button and go to town without worrying the camera shutting down on me. This way, I can put all my attention on how to play the game in the most tactical way as possible. <laughs> Number 3, the 360 editing views. And this part really is my all time favorite feature of the 360 camera. Remember how I talked about there is just something missing with the 4K cameras? Yes, because the angle is just not wide enough. And there's nothing you can do to the footage besides zooming in and zooming out. The worst part is that in the middle of the game, if you bump your camera into something and that perfect angle is gone, you ended up with that shitty view for the rest of the game. However, 360 cameras do not have this type of problem. There is this phrase called film first and then capture the angle later. Basically, the camera records everything on the field and you can decide what to do with all that. And furthermore, with the new flow stick technology, let's go. No more bumpy footage. And even when I turn into different angles, my camera stays leveled. How awesome is that? And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna mm -hmm. bend it. So now it looks like this. And then for my head cam, the most of the time, what happens is someone accidentally slaps it so now it looks like that oh no normally yeah if it is a regular camera it's not gonna do it it's gonna record weird things however let's try for the worst case what's gonna happen okay all right maybe in three two one go mm -hmm. Airsoft is awesome, and I figured if we want to attract more people into the sport, the best way is to make it look super fun. And I think 360 cameras helps in many different ways. So guys, please feel free to contact us about how to make Airsoft videos. We are really happy to share all our knowledge with you guys. Because after all, this sport needs people to make it awesome. That's it for the episode today. Please, guys, do know that I don't hate GoPros. Those are amazing cameras, and they sure capture the whole lot of beautiful footages for people all around the world. However, that part of the reason I'm making this episode today is because 
I really think that 360 cameras is the new way to capture airsoft footages. I mean, there is just so much you can do with this camera. Just film first and then edit it the way you like it. And make sure you guys click the link down below to purchase Insta360 through our link because this way you get a free battery or any special coupons that you can find online. Just go ahead, click it, and you get something special. Duh!